Hey y'all, I got asked uh, from a friend from overseas on how to actually unbox and hook up an S7 LN. So this is a unit fresh out of the box, alright. The packing's less than it was on the S3s and S5s. However, it seemed adequate. You want to give it a shake around to make sure there's no heat sinks loose. Because uh, that can happen. There is a uh, piece of tape back here. So if you have to open it, you need to email Bitmain first and get permission. Otherwise, you void your warranty. However, it costs a lot of money to ship stuff back to China. Even though it's fairly affordable to ship them stateside from China. So... I guess they get government funding for that or something. Anyways, uh, this is how it comes all hooked up with the PSU on top. This is actually a really good PSU. I don't know how they're affording to sell them. They must have bought a bunch of them. Uh, saying that, I prefer the server PSUs. This is what I run off the 220. This will run on both, you know, 110, 220 also, but... All these PSUs are burned out, mainly from this script machine, which is now my grease collector. So anyways, this is out of the box. Uh, I didn't do anything to it. This is how it comes. You simply plug in your power cord. Uh, you want at least uh, 10 amps, okay? This is a 15 amp because I learned my lessons in the past. So you simply plug that in. Uh, you got this switch back here, you know, in the old days, you put the paper clip in there to say it's connected and talking. Uh, I like this breakout board better with this toggle switch from Holy Bitcoin. However, this seems a little flimsy. I'm having a, a little bit of a problem with one, but it works. So, then you just plug in your network cable. I got these running through a simple switch going into my router and then you just turn it on. So there we go and on this specific one you'll get a uh, blinking green light when it's connected to the network. I mean you can see here it's speaking per se to the network. And then, well, this will come on. And then, you want to go over your computer. For some reason, on Windows 10, I'm not getting it to uh, see it. I don't know why. So, I go back over to my outdated system. And uh, you can just uh, op open this up and enter command... And it'll show you command prompt. So you do that. And then I already did this earlier. But what you want to enter is ARP minus A. That's going to show all your devices on your network, okay? Your DH, IC, and your uh, static connections. Or whatever it is. And, uh... I got most of my other machines turned off right now, so I know it's 101. So, you just enter that up here in your browser window. Again, on Windows 10 it wasn't working, and I couldn't get it to work in Chrome. But it seems like once you get it connected, it it works. So, uh, let's backtrack on here. I need a uh, better video recorder. So it's just bringing it right up because my password's already entered. It's uh, you just enter root for username and root for password. And then you go to minor configuration. It comes preloaded with uh, the ant miner pools. You enter your own. Right now, I just got it set to IPO miner in Digihash for Digibyte. And uh, you're welcome to use my addresses and donate. <laughs> And then uh, you can click on minor status and you can see that it's doing 2.8 terahash 
and it's not even making any noise yet. So uh, you always want to update all three of those because pools go down and stuff happens. So that's about all there is to it. Alright, peace.